How you guys doing? Scotty Rogers, former Notre Dame Fighting Irish goalie and current Ohio Machine goaltender. Today I'll be going over some goalie specific eye hand and footwork drills. Right now, I got some stations set up to kind of replicate some footwork drills and some hand eye drills that I like to do, especially, especially in college, especially in high school, okay, where you get a lot of this dead time as a goalie, goalie island I like to call it. All right, where everyone else is kind of doing a shooting drill, all the cages are probably occupied, okay? And all you really need is some cones and a couple balls, and we'll get in some efficient work, okay? So the first drill is this goalie shuttle, okay? So we have not a 5-10-5 set up, but we have a nice little, you know, three-yard area of shuffles, and then you finish square with your top hand driving to a, a soft toss or, or, or a shot, okay? So what we like to do, all right, because in, in the goal, we only stay in a six by six area. So I don't need to be the fastest guy. I don't, need, I don't need to be the most athletic guy, but I do need to be the quickest guy in a six by six area. So these cones aren't bigger than six by six. It's about six by six, okay? And what we'll do is we'll start center. I'll be in my ready stance, so I'm a lefty. So my top hand is gonna replicate my stick head, okay? So I'm right here with my top hand, eyes up, eye thumb, not my hands too low, not my hands too high but eye thumb so I can see it out of my side view, okay? And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shuffle to my left, touch, shuffle to my right, touch, get back center, and expect a shot and react, okay? So this drill really ties together your footwork, your lateral movement, okay? And then being set, you notice how when I got back to the center, I got set, then reacted, okay? So that's the real big important piece here is getting set for the shot. The next drill I'll be going over is basically an eye hand specific drill where we take our legs out of the drill and really focus on driving our top hand to the ball and focusing on one of the hardest saves for a goalie off hip. So what I'll do, okay, is start and really overcompensate to my stick side because obviously I want to get that, show that target to my shooter for the sake of the drill, which is my right side off hip, about right here, okay? So I'm going to overcompensate, slide over with my knees. Now my knees are, are statued to the ground. I'm in my stands, I'm gonna really have a guy with about 20 balls, kind of fire them rapid fire, okay, at a good pace at my off hip. So what I'll do is I'll be in my ready stand, eyes up, eyes down, eyes up, eyes down. All right, really focusing on getting that underhand sweep movement, okay, and driving my hands to the ball, okay? That's the really important piece here is not moving my legs, not moving my feet, not having my body to bail me out, but driving my hands to it. The last set of drills I like to do, especially before an MLL game, in college, before practice, before game, pre-game, high school even, okay, is we have a series of three different steps that we would use in a game as a goalie. Uh, on the right is a 45 degree angle step, okay? You see the zigzag I've set up. Right foot, left foot, right foot, okay? In the middle here, you have your arc, okay? Where we always walk our arc in a game, whether you know it or not, consciously or unconsciously, you're always kind of stepping on an arc. So you have to be really comfortable on your arc. So right there is your comfortable step, muscle memory, doing things the right way. And then third, we have a lateral step, all right, which is a new way to approach it, okay? But we like to step this way with higher velocity shots to kind of cut that ball off rather than attack a ball going 110 miles an hour, cut it off and maybe step in front of it that way, okay, and beat the ball there. So this drill, I'll go through, okay, as we go in the series. So I'll go zigzag, arc, lateral, okay? Ideally, we wanna run these through two times each. So we focus on the different steps that we lead with. So in the zigzag, I'll go up, I'll come back, and you'll be leading with a different foot every time. For your arc, you're gonna go from your right to left and your left to right, because that's what you would do in a game. And then in the lateral step, you're gonna go from right to left, bang, and from left to right, okay? And you'll see that you're gonna have a dominant foot to step with that's more comfortable than the other. That's why it's important that you run through these things with both legs. Zigzag, or my 45 degree stepping drill, okay? I'm gonna step, start a little bit outside that head ball, okay? Right here, to the right of it for me. To the left of it for me, I'm sorry. I'll be here in my ready stands. Eye thumb, not my stick in front of my face. Nice, comfortable position, athletically bent. And I'm gonna drive on a 45 degree step up to, up to the ball. Then, what I'll do is I'll reset myself, drive, reset, left foot lead, reset, right foot lead, reset, okay? When I'm done with that, 
I'll progress to my arc drill, okay? So you'll have them set up kind of right next to each other like stations. I'll get here, I'll be square, so I'm not gonna go like this on an arc, but I'm gonna be square the whole time. So here's this ball, drive, 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 okay? Finishing the, se the sequence with the lateral step. So I'll start a little bit outside the ball, so I really have to drive, okay? I'm gonna go right to left. So I'm here, drive, drive, eyes up, eyes down, and finish. The simple message I'm trying to get across are the things, the fundamental roots that you lose as you get older as a goalie. So in the pros, we don't practice every day, and, and we need to reinforce things that we were taught when we were younger. These drills will reinforce that and create a muscle memory that, that you won't lose, okay? Like driving and bringing your back foot when you step. If you've noticed in every drill I've done here today, my back foot has never been stuck once, meaning I've never been caught in a scissor or an unathletic position, but I've always brought my back foot and had a gather step and finish square. That's like 20 years of experience and, and muscle memory and practicing good habits. So this is what these drills kind of have done for me is reinforce good habits. And for uh, you know great goalies that are unorthodox and maybe have bad tendencies, these will kind of reinforce the fundamental roots that we need in the cage. Hi, I'm Mark Millen, two-time member of Team USA, and today we're going to talk about some of the methodology and uh, skills it's going to take to be a good split dive. It doesn't matter what the score is, and that's what we're taught in medicine games too, so I think, I think some of it is cultural too, so it's